So let's look at accumulation versus utilization. What's the difference? Accumulation is vehicles or places that you're putting your money for that money to grow over the long term so that you can so that that money can compound and build upon itself. Those types of vehicles that are traditionally used are uh, CDs, long-term savings, brokerage accounts, 401ks, IRAs, SEP IRAs, things like that. Anywhere that you're looking to put your money for it to sit and to grow or have the potential to grow over a long period of time. Whereas utilization is places that you put your money so that you can use it in the short term. Those types of vehicles are your checking account, a short-term savings account, cash, credit cards, anywhere you're looking to put a dollar so that you can utilize it over the, the short term. Now, any money that comes to you in your life, whether through your business or personally, you have the choice of where you're gonna put that money. Are you gonna accumulate that money or are you going to utilize that money? And that's the problem with these types of vehicles or these types of accounts is it's an either or scenario. You can only do one or the other. And when you look at this from a graphical standpoint, this is what it looks like. You go into uh, your brokerage or your, your bank and you say, hey, I wanna open a savings account or I wanna open a brokerage account or I wanna start a 401k and you want, the idea is, is you want that money to grow over time, right? You want it to compound and b to build upon itself and continue to grow. Well, at any point in time, you decide you want to transfer that money from an accumulation uh, vehicle to a utilization vehicle, what that does is that affects the growth of that account over the long term. Because when you use that money, it no longer has the ability to grow over time and therefore will affect the long-term outcome of your wealth. And typically what will happen over uh, a period of a business life or uh, just life in general is people will tap into their accumulation vehicles several times. And when they originally set out to start saving, they think they're gonna have $1, when in actuality, in the end, they have much a, a much lower amount due to this idea of only being able to do one or the other. So these types of vehicles let you either accumulate or they let you utilize, but they don't let you do both. And again, as I said, when you fast forward 20, 30, 40 years, you think you're gonna have a certain amount of money when in reality you have much less because you're using these types of vehicles. Now there's a way to get around this. We call it the and asset and I'll talk about that in another video. See you next time.